G'day YouTube, 1MJ here, welcome back to my channel. Well, as the title says, adoption is happening and it's going to change everything. I'm a massive believer in that adoption is really what is it's what it's going to take for crypto to go to the next level particularly mainstream adoption at the moment there's a small number of people in crypto but big business is getting in and it's usually them that get in long before uh, everybody else and that's what's really going to push uh, adoption uh, into the mainstream and see the prices go to you know these astronaut astronomical numbers that people talk about so it is happening and what we can do is we can go over and we can have a look at some of the things that are happening so here's some for instance and this is uh xrp i know there's a lot of xrp hate out there uh but in the end they really do have mass adoption going on now that doesn't mean the price is going to skyrocket overnight they've had uh adoption for quite a while but it's a slow process that hopefully is going to build into something. And that's all we can do is we can just hope. I've got a bit invested in XRP. Not too much, but I've got a bit. But American Express, MoneyGram, PNC, SBI, they're a massive company from over in Japan. Interbank, Santana, massive. And if we scroll down, mainly for my Australian viewers, where are we? Here we go. Westpac, and I know it's not just Westpac, there's other Australian banks that also joined in. Uh, there's quite a few Australian banks that have actually, uh, they're trialling Ripple anyway, using the Ripple network. Whether they're using XRP or not, I'm not exactly sure, I'd have to look further into it. But as you can see, Ripple themselves, they are, at least, you know, people are trialling them at the very least, but I'd say... Uh, a lot of those places will eventually get on board. It's going to take a while to change old minds to get onto new things. That's generally the way it goes. But as you can see, they have a number of people using, well, not people, a number of companies that are using their uh, technology. So it, it is happening. And it's slowly but surely. It doesn't happen overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day. But let's all go over here. So this is for uh, uh, my other Australian viewers. You can buy Bitcoin from Australia Post now. So they've gotten on board, even they can see the opportunities that are coming. So now if you want to buy Bitcoin, you can go to Australia Post and you can buy, you can buy, you can buy, <laughs> sorry, excuse me, you can buy Bitcoin from Australia Post. So that makes it nice and easy right there. And Australia Post, they're pretty big in Australia. They're generally everywhere. Uh, they're not as big as what they used to be. Times are changing and they have had a, a little bit of trouble kind of adapting, but they're still hanging in there. They've just got to change up their business plan a little bit to get with the new times and i think they'll be just fine but the fact they're selling bitcoin uh, is very very promising now we can also go over to ethereum so ethereum's pretty big it's a number two coin it's been number two for a while number two platform whatever you want to call it call it sorry i'm struggling with english today so jp morgan that's quite a, a large banking group i think they'd be one of the biggest if not maybe even the biggest banking group getting around JP Morgan and Chase, I think it was one time, something like that. So now they have just kind of trialed uh, Ethereum uh, and they made a basically a US uh, digital US dollar on there and they were just trialing it. But again, they are trialing it, so they're a really, really big company. Now Amazon, they've also uh, used the Ethereum uh, blockchain. Uh, I mean, Amazon, is there a bigger company out there? I'm not sure. I don't think there is. I think they would be up there. Massive, massive company, and even they're getting into blockchain uh, and the open blockchain, so not the private stuff, the one that everyone else can see, uh, decentralized and all of it. So really, really good. Microsoft Azure, another massive company. Microsoft is huge, and this is a branch of Microsoft. Uh, they're getting into it and things like that. So these are three massive, massive companies and they're getting on board with Ethereum. Now, does that mean that they are fully using Ethereum and all that kind of stuff? No, but they are starting to build stuff on there and experiment with it, and that's where it all happens. It was no different with uh, the internet when it started. Even I can remember when I was young when they were talking about the internet. I just remember hearing it and going, oh, that just sounds crazy. I don't know if that'll ever turn into anything. And, you know, 30 years later, the internet, it's an absolute behemoth. Uh, and that's where this whole cryptocurrency sort of thing comes from. You know, people talk about the uh, the internet of value. So basically money and finances and things like that are going to be done on the, on the internet as opposed to the old archaic style that banking's done now with Nostro and Vostro 
accounts and things like that. And if you're unsure about Nostra and Vostra accounts, basically it means accounts have to be pre-funded uh, for money to be interchanged between different banks, uh, particularly different countries. So, uh, you know, each country would have to have X amount of dollars of another country's money to send it back and forth and all the rest of it. It's a bit of a long convoluted story, but if you want to have a look at uh, look into it, go ahead. Uh, once you get into blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies in particular, then you don't need these Nostro and Vostro accounts and things like that. And particularly if we ever get to, what do they call it, uh, atomic swaps and things like that. I mean, we're not far off now anyway. A lot of the the cryptocurrencies out there are kind of semi-interchangeable anyway. You know, you can wrap Bitcoin on the Ethereum network and yeah, there's all sorts of things happening these days. So I really believe uh, it's only a matter of time until yeah cryptocurrencies will be massive now not all of them but the really good ones that last they definitely will be and i mean you know there are things like Chainlink. i think chain is going to be absolutely huge and i think it's still got a long long way to go before it's even remotely you know at its peak and that'll be its peak for this time and then it'll drop back down and then you know we'll go through another bear market and then it'll start to build again but in saying that chain link did really really good through the last bear market so who knows you know what its peak is not that i think chain links the be all and end all of crypto but i definitely think it's a not a bad project i, I invested in it anyway and lastly this isn't going to be a long one this is just a short video again today uh something i noticed on coin market cap that i really like so we basically just got the stock standard coin market cap and i use coin gecko a lot but this is something i like about coin market cap that i just uh, noticed today so if we go here tap on currencies go down to DeFi. i'm a huge DeFi fan i love DeFi, and i've invested reasonably heavy in well i wouldn't say heavy but i've invested in DeFi anyway i've got a number of different coins and things that i've invested in and now we can go over here and i think it is the top 40 is it yeah it is the top 40 DeFi projects out there that are currently listed so i'm loving this so you can have a look at what's out there and what's going on so loop ring on neo that's interesting i didn't know neo had anything going on i definitely heard of loop ring before so that's loop ring up here and uh, loop ring neo i don't know if they're the same thing but they have the same name so that will be interesting to uh, have a look at and i'll have to look into that because it has uh, bumped up 15 percent. so that's interesting let's have a look at the normal loop ring uh 10.65 percent and what i find really interesting about the DeFi space at the moment is look at the numbers so compound has dumped that was always going to happen it had such a massive run up it's obviously going to retrace and come back a little bit make a dows down a little bit not too much two percent uh it had a bit of a bump as well uh, and it's having a bit of a retracement but kyber network wow 15 percent synthetics network 16 percent ave or ave i'm not sure how you pronounce it i think it's ave uh, 16%. So these are massive, massive gains. Loopring 10%. Bancor 10%. Thorchain 10%. Oh, just 26%. Switcho 36%. So this is where all the gains are being made at the moment. DeFi is absolutely massive. Now, by no means would I just jump into any old DeFi project at the moment, do some research and have a little look around. You know, half of these ones that I just mentioned, I don't even know, particularly these ones down here. I haven't really heard of just, uh, what was the other one? Haven't really heard of Thorchain too much. Numerair, I've heard of them before. Rap Bitcoin, definitely know about them. But the ones that I uh, am a fan of and have invested in, Kyber Network, uh, OX, I've got a few of those. Synthetics, got a few. Uh, Ave or Ave, whatever you want to call it, got a few. Got a couple of Ren as well. So, yeah, have a couple of Maker as well. So, yeah, Love and DeFi, I, I think it's the next kind of boom thing. Now, again, at some point, it's probably going to turn around and have a retracement. That doesn't mean panic and sell everything. It's about understanding the markets and where everything is in the cycle. Because this could pump really, really hard for the next six weeks. Then it'll go quiet for a couple of weeks. And then it'll kind of track sideways. And then we're going to pump again. You know, when it comes to the cryptocurrency markets, you know, for our beginners, at least at the moment, this is really what leads the way. It's Bitcoin. If Bitcoin's going up, this uh, when the sea rises at, 
when the sea comes up, it rises all ships, I think is the saying that's going around at the moment. So when Bitcoin goes up, it generally drags everything else up with it. And likewise, when Bitcoin goes down, it generally drags everything down with it as well. So this is what we really need to watch mainly is what it's doing. But if it's doing all right and, you know, going up bit by bit, you can guarantee that it's going to drag pretty much every other crypto up with it. But there are some outliers that uh, buck the trend a little bit. And even when Bitcoin's going down, it can go up. So Chainlink, uh, that was one of them. For a while there, Binance Coin was doing exactly the same, although Binance Coin has pulled back in recent times. So, yeah, just a quick one from me. Uh, anyway, thanks very much. I do appreciate you tuning into my channel. If you like what I'm doing, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. Let me know how I'm going. Uh, let me know if you think that there's something better I can do. I'm going to continue to work on this. Uh, it's going to take me a while, obviously. I'm learning uh, and it's an experience in itself, and I'll just keep you up to date with anything that I kind of see. Again, the 1MJ stands for one man's journey, and that's me. I'm that one man, and it's my journey through the cryptocurrency kind of space. I'm just going to uh, provide you with uh, information about what I've done, what's worked, what hasn't worked. Uh, yeah, basically just a bit of fun for me. Well, yeah, it is a bit of fun for me. I'm doing it for a bit of fun, but also because uh, I enjoy watching other people on YouTube uh, and some of them are a whole lot more advanced and forget that there's some real beginner people out there. So I'm going to be down at the bottom end of the beginner kind of level, uh, just helping people out because I would have really appreciated some of that when I was originally getting into it. And it's not that I didn't get it, but the people I follow on YouTube now, they're much higher end sort of stuff and yeah, you don't get a lot of basic info from them anymore anyway i'm rambling i'll let you go stay safe be kind to one another hopefully everyone made a little profit today and i'm out